voting. What's happening right now? We have delays. They're counting the mail votes. Everyone's like, is it fraud? You tell me. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Justin R. Harris here on my book review. Hey, welcome back, guys. Justin R. Harris here once again. Hey, I'm a little off topic this time. Normally, I'm, uh, you know, trying to cover book reviews. I know my last video was a little longer um, when I was getting into some of the issues here um, when it comes to black and white. I try to stay on topic with a lot of things. So this one right here with the issue that I want to cover is talking about the votes right now here in the U.S. You got the Republicans, you got the Democrats, you have the Libertarians. Um, Everyone's going at it, and you got the Green Party. Um, all these things going on here. Everybody wants to be, you know, recognized for whatever it is that they represent. It's real simple. All right. Everyone has their own agenda. What I like to tell people is look at it like this. Look at high school. In high school, you have what? Class president, right? Vice president, treasurer, all these different positions, right? And who got all the hookups to the prom and the senior trip and homecoming and all these events that went on throughout the high school year, right? Every year, new elections, you had different class presidents, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior. You have the same thing that happens in college as well. And so you have these different things uh, that take place, you know, between the elections and this and that. And at the end of the day, um, it's these groups that get together and they decide to become a part of, you know, the politics that are involved, right, in their school. And who gets all the favoritism? You ever thought about that? You know, who gets the hookups? How does that work exactly? Well, it's no different in every business, in every political party globally. We see it, right? It's real simple, right? You get somewhere you want to be. And you have, you know, people that you work with, whether they're associates or they're friends or whatever it is, and they get together as well. And um, they all follow the same agenda as you. They have the same plan as you. You guys help each other get up there to that point. Right. Because everything is a team. Right. And so you get there and then who are you going to hook up? You know, you guys have your own agenda, you know, of things that you want to achieve. Some of it good, some of it very personal. I'm not going to say bad because it's bad according to who you tell, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. So you got these different groups and they get together and then they get into position and they achieve whatever it is that they say they want to achieve, right? And uh, some of it is going to be good and some of it's going to be bad and it is what it is. And then at the end of the day, everyone else that thinks that they have a say is going to try to have a say and people are going to not like it and people are going to like it. And it just goes on and on. And that is the perpetual cycle. Right. So what's the problem here in the U.S.? It's real clear. Put the finger right in the sore. Right. The problem is, is right now what it's Friday. Um, and votes are still tallying, right? So we know that it's the mail-ins, right? We got the mail-in votes because that's what we're told. We're told that, right? Now, I might be delayed on this video by the time I actually put it out. It might be over the weekend. So I hate when I date things, but that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? When you see this video, you're going to be like, ah, Justin's got a point. By the time this video comes out, there may already be a president, but I just want to raise a question and here's the question what about blockchain we have new technology we accept technology in one aspect and don't accept it in another aspect and it doesn't make sense to me I'll give you an example Wi-Fi is technology right Elon Musk is going to you know continue his plan of launching all these satellites out into the into orbit around the globe, uh, what is it, like 14,000 satellites, right, so that we have global Wi-Fi. I think that is amazing, the concept, right? That's freaking phenomenal, okay, because now we can communicate globally. There is not one rural part of the world that you will not be able to reach out and help someone or pass information or educate, right? I love that, okay? So that technology we use everywhere we go. Right. So we want to accept that. But then we don't want to accept things like blockchain. Why is that so hard to understand? I don't get it. Right. What is blockchain? 
everyone should be educated on what blockchain is right now. It's real simple. It is decentralized, right? Authentication. What does that mean? That's the nuts and berries right there. Okay. Authentication. I'm going to explain that to you. So we're all on these different networks. We're all on our different computers, right? And when I get on, you get on, that person gets on, that person gets on. It's real simple. Your computer knows who I am. My computer has authenticated who I am, whether it's retina, et cetera, et cetera. There has been some authentication process to verify that I am Justin R. Harris. Your computer meets my computer. We pop, 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 pop. We connect. Your computer knows that I am who I am, authenticates, checks that computer. There's no way someone can jump in and say that they are me because they can't be me. Your computer is going to say, nope, that's Justin. Who are you coming in? No, you're not Justin. Boom, he gets kicked out, right? So then that part, that process duplicates and duplicates. So here here we go fast forward into voting right you have your voters registration here in the US you legally can vote that becomes a part of your blockchain okay here we go I'm just I, I love being a visionary in this sense so BAM that's locked in your social everything's locked in driver's license everything your um, your visa your passport everything's in this system OK, so you can travel globally anywhere. No one can say you aren't you. If you got a fake name and you're hopping from one country to the next, shame on you, because guess what? Blockchain is going to prevent you from being the fake person and then you can't get through. So there's fraud. We start to slowly eliminate that. Right now, every system is not impenetrable. Right. Someone can get through. Eventually, someone will hack it. You know, right now it is unhackable unless we start getting into um what is the type of technology someone can name this right off the bat but right now it's not on the top of my my brain right now um but everything is hackable there is no such thing as impossible you know people used to argue it's impossible to go to the moon next thing you know we're on the moon it's impossible the world is flat nope the world is round you're gonna fall off the edge of the ocean i mean come on it's, we've seen it all right if people stopped at what you thought was impossible life would not move forward right so here we go so you have this authentication process, right? With everything is guaranteed. I'm talking about real estate. I'm talking about taxes. Nothing says that you aren't you. So you go and you vote. All votes go in. Where's the problem now? There's no problem. Who controls it? We all do. We all control it. There's no secret on whether or not uh, someone manipulated the votes. Someone manipulated anything because... Your computer has proven it true. It's crazy. I'm just brainstorming here. I don't know. Call me a problem solver. Call me a, a person causing a problem. I don't know, you know, but I can tell you that it just sometimes when things make too much sense, you know, no one wants to hear it. You know, most people don't want to solve a problem. They just want to complain, right? They don't want you to solve their problems. Don't solve my problem. Just uh, let me complain about it. I just want you to listen. That's all I want you to do, right? Crazy. Uh, don't know what that's about, but that's my point. All right. So I just I see what's happening right now and it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like, wait a minute, um, we should be able to solve this problem real quick. There's nothing and no reason why in the next four years coming up to the next election, we should ever have this problem again. I'm talking about immediate gratification. I'm talking about, bam, midnight strikes. Votes are in. And we know who the upcoming president is. Let's prepare for inauguration and January 1st. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. But um, I guess it's not supposed to. See you guys. This was a short one. I just had to get this out. It just didn't make sense to me. Like, subscribe, because that's what we need. Leave a comment. I want to know your thoughts. Tell me what you think. This is what's going on right now. Okay, I'm going to post this. I'm probably going to post this tomorrow morning. Um, I really want your feedback. Okay, peace out, guys. Once again, like, subscribe.